Wait, hold on a minute. What is happening? Are you joking? She's literally getting invaded by aliens right now. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> what? Hello everyone, welcome back to my Not Spirit so Challenge Let's Play. We're here with a very minty Aramanta. This is an interesting freeze frame. She did just finish using the toilet, but you know, it is what it is. Today, we are gonna go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. I have started this video straight after my last one, so no time is skipped yet. We're just gonna go to the festival and then I'm gonna play a week of work and then I'll be back and I'll show you all the money we've made. I'll show you every achievement we've gained. And yeah, but I just wanted to film. I was going to Humor and Hijinks Festival and getting her mischief skill up. We've also just got our first lot of bills but to be honest they're not too expensive so let's go and sort that out we also have mail actually let's go and pay our bills and then we will head to the human hygiene festival we should probably get changed though because we are just kind of like in our science wear let's see if we got any new elements though because we just gained some oh that one was new oh, what was that one called meloku i love all the names for these they're so great i think we already have this yeah we do this is the one we got from work. Oh, that one's new too. The Perillium. We only need four more. That is like really good going. I'm not going to lie. Look at us go. Let's head to this festival then. We're going to take Glenn with us because he is our boyfriend and we do things with him, you know? Where's the notification? <laughs> there it is. Apparently I can't bring Glenn. We'll just invite him when we're there then, I suppose. Here we are at the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Oh, Glenn's already here. That's probably why it wouldn't let me invite him. We really need to get changed. I completely forgot to do that. Um, Let's change into our oh, just every day. If it's not too cold, she might have to get changed again, but... Here's Glenn. Let's add him to a group so we can do things together. And then we're both going to go and join the pranksters because why wouldn't she want to be a prankster? I mean, look at her. She's evil. And if we win this challenge today at Humor and Hygiene Festival, we get 500 simoleons to add to our collection of money for the end of the week when we do our little shopping spree. And here's Kyle. I love Kyle. Kyle's a great sim. Although we seem to be polar opposites. Look at him. He's joining the jokesters. But whilst we're here, let's just, let's just annoy him a bit with all of our prankster activities apparently araminta thinks that kyle is very attractive as well which is more than she thinks about her own boyfriend which is definitely a bit of a sticky situation i don't even know where glenn's gone maybe he's feeling a bit jealous i mean she is only tormenting him though and we are in the lead from this oh and we leveled up okay that's good we need one more level and we've completed this milestone as well so we're doing well already um where did glenn go just, uh, just wondering, he's kind of vanished. Oh, he's over here at the bar. Okay. He looks sad. Why is he upset? Why is he moping around? What's the matter with him? Let's go and give him a hug because I don't understand why he's sad. What's the matter with him? I don't understand. Apologize. Did she do something? What did she do? Oh, he just scared her. Wow. Okay. I mean, but what has she done to him? Why does she need to apologize? Is that why he's sad? He's still sad though. I'm not sure. Let's just sing together, you know? Let's move on because I don't know why he's upset. We're still in the lead by five as well. Oh, okay. I really just want to win this because I think I also get a voodoo doll by win from winning as the pranksters, which is like going to be helpful because I'm pretty sure part of the chief mischief aspiration like involves a voodoo doll and they're like expensive. They're like 700 simoleons or something. He's slapping me right now. I mean, I know it was like a jokey thing, but come on now. What's going on? What's going on here? He's feeling prayful now though. So it's okay. Oh, we're, we're actually really close to level six mischief. So let's go and say hi to Diego. Let's do a funny introduction. Wait, that's their thing though, isn't it? They're funny, they're the jokesters. We should be friendly then. <gasps> we won, we won, we won. Oh my gosh, okay. That's good. And we're level six. That was such good timing. We just completed a milestone and we won at the same time. So we got 500 simoleons and a voodoo doll. So that's so great. Okay, so now I think this might be the last one, you know? So we need to achieve level 10 mischief skill, pervert, perform voodoo five times. I was right, we did need the voodoo doll and clog drains at three different homes. Okay, so I think this might be the last part of our aspiration already, which is mind blowing that we've done that so quickly. Oh, but look at the purple fireworks to congratulate us that's so sweet <laughs> we're just too great she's gonna go watch the fireworks and she's gonna keep being mischievous because it's just her thing we're gonna head home because it is 11 p.m we have work again tomorrow so let's actually leave <laughs> okay so as she heads to bed as i said before i am gonna do a time skip to the end of the week when we have some money and just any updates oh wait hold on a minute What is happening? Are you joking?
She's literally getting invaded by aliens right now. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> what? I was literally just about to pause my recording as well to just, you know, go ahead a week, uh, do some work, and she literally gets abducted by aliens. I mean, she's probably into that, you know. Oh my god, what if it's Glenn? It's Glenn. It's her boyfriend. It's her crazy alien psycho stalker boyfriend literally abducting her because she didn't say bye to him when she left the festival. Oh my gosh, this guy. I told you she has a stalker boyfriend. It's confirmed. He's now in this spaceship, in this UFO, abducting her because she didn't say goodbye to him. I'm telling you, it's Glenn. When will she be back? She's back. I mean, she looks quite happy about it. Oh, hold on. She's feeling scared. Fear of the dark. Hold on. That is interesting. And she's feeling focused because of the aliens. I'm sorry, but that was 100% Glenn. Aramis never knows what's lurking in the dark. Is this because she's outside or has it got something to do with the uh, aliens? I'm not sure, but that was definitely her crazy boyfriend. And honestly, I can imagine Aramis is feeling more and more scared of him by the minute. Okay, so it is Wednesday at work and Aramis has just created this satellite dish and I feel like she's probably a bit, you know, she's a bit curious because obviously she literally got abducted by aliens the other night and her boyfriend, Glenn, is an alien and it's just a bit suspicious because he has got a bit of an obsession with her he's turning up to her house following her home from places they were together and he already asked to move in the day they got together so maybe she should try and contact the aliens because she's probably gonna be a bit confused about his situation and his deal he obviously is a receptionist at the lab where she works but you know i'm just thinking maybe she should contact the aliens see if any aliens know glenn and maybe she could just have a bit of a conversation like what's the deal what what's going on you know okay so aliens have been contacted and they might abduct us again but she's kind of you know willing to do that because you know maybe she wants to you know she wants to know what's going on with her weird alien boyfriend but speaking of she's gonna go and speak to him she's gonna ask him for a dna sample and maybe with his dna sample she can find out a bit more about his family and why the hell an alien is here working in a science lab he said no he's hiding something and as you can see their friendship has gone down quite a bit i swear it used to be higher but i think he's hiding something because he won't give us a dna sample even though we're incredibly close he's literally our boyfriend we got abducted by aliens the other night i think he's definitely up to something okay so araminta has been home from work for, for approximately three hours and as soon as she got home glenn came to her house which is fine because they're dating that's completely normal behavior right but just as Glenn left, literally about 10 minutes ago, she was getting ready for bed and there was another strange, mysterious light outside. And all I'm saying is, although we did obviously contact the aliens and it was likely we were going to get abducted anyway, this is quite suspicious of Glenn. First he was hiding things from us and now we're getting abducted by aliens again. You know, I'm just saying that this is strange behavior and I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, she's back from her abduction and now she's going to bed. And honestly, I just think there's something very suspicious going on with these all these abductions that's going on specifically to her, especially since she's ever since she got her alien boyfriend. It's just it's been a regular occurrence and I'm just saying that's not normal. So, it is the end of the week. It's Friday and it's also love day. But we are ending the week on 9,388 simoleons, which is obviously everything we've got from work, but also me selling a bunch of stuff that we had in our inventory. We also have sent off tons of metals and crystals to the Geo Council, so tomorrow we'll have multiple different types of elements to add to our collection. But I think the plan for now is we have a lot of money to spend on upgrading our house, and then, because it's love day, rather than going out on a date with Glenn, I think we'll invite him over for a date in our new fancy house. So let's get started and let's renovate our house a bit. So my goal is to have a room for everything, basically. I want to have her own bedroom sorted. I think I'll put it at the back here because, oh, that's pretty big. But you know what? That was actually still quite cheap, so I think we'll stick with that size because then I can maybe expand the bathroom. So that way it can be an ensuite vibe and she can have a door straight into her bathroom from her bedroom. And then I also would quite like a room for a kitchen with somewhere to eat. And then this area here could be the start of a nice little living room or something, maybe. 
Let's add some more lights around so we can see what we're doing. And let's see. So I'm going to move this, her bed, into the bedroom. And then I'm actually going to delete these walls and make it more open plan. Then we're going to move all of these kitchen items into the kitchen. We'll obviously upgrade our appliances and things because we should have the money but I'm just gonna move them into here for now. I'm also gonna expand this a bit I think just to make the house a you know bit of a less strange shape and then the last room I really want to add on is the beginning of our lab so it doesn't have to be too big for now I think we'll just kind of put it on the side here because we've got like the chemistry lab and other things from work that I really want to put in here one of those is we can put the elemental rack in here and then we also have this chemistry lab and then this test tube thing which is really cool okay so this is what we've got going on so far um I might put this in here as well because you know it's a microscope thing uh so, which is very sciencey we also have these things we could put in here our hover lamp and our momentum conserver so that's all of our items that we already had now let's go through and edit the rest of the house so let's carry this wallpaper on into the kitchen we might edit that soon but we'll see it's like a dark corner here but that may be because this light is off because of auto lights i don't know if it's not if it if it's just like glitch we'll fix it in a bit but We'll leave it for now because I think it's because the auto lights. We need some more doors, so let's let's get the same door that we have been using. Although we could change this door up because it's a very cheap door. But I think I'm just gonna have this as an ensuite because realistically she's the only one living here for now, so we don't need like a like a joint bathroom. We'll just have it connected down to her bedroom. And then we can, like I said, make this into a sort of a living room area. We also need a door for our lab, so let's just put that there for now. Okay, I really, really want a TV, so I'm gonna buy this now so I know that I can afford it. I do want one on the wall, but these are so expensive. That's 2,000, that's 2.5K. We will have 4,000 left after this, but I might just kind of splurge and do it because like, why not? You know, if I end up running out of money, I'll remove it and replace it with a cheaper one. But for now, let's just let's just go with it. We can also now get a nice sofa to go with our TV. I kind of want to go basic. Like that's pretty, and it's like quite big and fills up a lot of space that we have going on here. So I think I might just go for that. Let's see if we can find a chair or something that we can put here. I don't know whether there'll be like a sort of love seat that'll match because. It's The Sims and nothing matches in The Sims. Oh, I think that there actually is. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I'm so happy. I don't know why we need so much sofa space. I mean, she literally is dating one person, hasn't really got anyone else to share this house with, but you know, it looks nice. So we're doing it. We're gonna get a little table to put in this corner here. That's such a cute little table. I love that. It's so like close to the floor. I don't think, I don't know if that'd be very practical because like it's so low down, but it's really cute. So I'm actually just gonna stick with that. Okay, so there's other stuff I obviously want to add to like the living space, but we're just gonna leave it as it is for now because we are getting a bit low on money and we still need to go into the kitchen and edit there. Okay, we actually have a fairly big kitchen. I'm surprised we could afford all of that, but I think it looks nice. So now we can get a sink, a kitchen sink finally. We don't have to just use our bathroom sink for everything. Let's get a decent one. Let's put it right here. I want some upper cabinets, but I think we'll have to focus on that another time. Let's go into the bedroom because she needs a new bed. She was complaining that her back was hurting, so let's get her a nicer bed. That's a really nice bed and it's got minty colors on it, but it is so expensive. I'm not spending that much money on a bed right now. I cannot afford that, so. I really wanted to have like minty green bed sheets and I love this bed, but I can't, I can't bring myself to spend that much money on a bed. So I think that'll be something we save up for. But I think I'm just gonna go for this one for now. It's just plain white, which is kind of boring, but you know, I, I can't bring myself to, to buy one that's any more expensive than that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, I severely hate doing roofs in this game. <laughs> I'm just not very good at it. So that little fancy weird design is just gonna have to do. Let's get some wallpaper for the outside because this house has been so naked on the outside for so long and I don't like it. Okay, so I have completed the house with 132 simoleons to spare. It's definitely not the most amazing house in the world, but obviously we were short on money. But now we have like every necessity plus some luxuries like a whole lab and a TV and things. My next goal obviously is to upgrade the bedroom because I really do want that other bed. And I also would like some cabinets in the kitchen, some more like 
appliances, you know, just extra things because this is just very much the basics. But we have an actual house now, so that's always fun. We're gonna go use our toilet in our new fancy house for the first time. How exciting! And then once we've done that, we are gonna invite over Glenn because we are hungry as well. So we're gonna invite him over for a date for some dinner and he's already here because he is obsessed with us okay so we are on our little day in our house she needs to get out of her work uniform why is he getting things out he's getting milk never mind okay that's fine it's nearly 10 p.m so we've started this a bit late but you know she had work so there's not really much i can do about that but then we're going to cook together and what should we make what should we make let's make some vegetable do oh is that just for one maybe we shouldn't do that <laughs> stop stop it you know instead we'll just serve dinner and we'll serve we'll serve a folk oh we can't really afford that actually we are poor this is only two let's make some tofu tacos and then we can can we ask him to yeah invite to join cooking she's scared of the dark so it keeps coming up every time it gets like past nine o'clock and it gets really annoying i'm not gonna lie okay there we go we have made our tofu tacos so let's call to meal okay and then we're gonna go and sit together we should watch tv together so cute and then i'm actually i'm gonna invite him to stay the night because it's already nearly 11 p.m let's give him a gift for love day let's give him a rose okay stop watching tv now give him the rose ah okay so we're gonna have a successful love day you know what we have not woohoo jets so i'm actually gonna let them do that because they haven't done it yet so why not time for araminta's first ever woohoo oh my god okay ah okay it feels weird watching this so let's let's just move away we're gonna do some housekeeping let's put this in the fridge we'll throw this away whilst they do their thing you know oh what sentiment have we got now let's have a look sexual orientation oh my god glenn's bisexual love that for him we i knew he was trying to make us jealous with that knock guy a while ago when he was texting us about him <sighs> so many feelings can fit in a small jar giving it to to makes glenn's heart blood. i told you he's really really like obsessed with us no wonder he stalks us a bit like i'm telling you he's the one that's been orchestrating these abductions like there is surely it's not just coincidence he is the only alien we know who we are coincidentally dating and now we get abducted twice in two days i don't know something suspicious about that i think i have risky woohoo um which i'm a bit concerned about because i do not want her to be pregnant but it doesn't say i can take a pregnancy test so maybe that bypassed i really hope because i don't i don't want her to be pregnant why is he glowing? Oh my god, I forgot. He's an alien. That's why he's glowing. Oh my god. That's so weird. That's so weird. Look, I'm glowing purple. <laughs> oh no. We're not... I don't want to do all these because I can't be bothered. So I'm going to cancel the date. No, don't say goodbye. He's staying over. And now he's just going to go to bed because we are really tired. What does this mean? Trapped inside. Oh, it's because she's outdoorsy. It's okay. It's just, just, it's just one day. You'll be fine. Actually, whilst they're sleeping... I want to move the house over because it's kind of just like randomly right in the center. I want it to be a bit closer to like the front of things, you know? That's better. Oh, we're now not asleep anymore. Whoops, my bad. All right, go back to bed. Sorry about that. The only problem with like having Sims stay over when they're in a relationship is like he will not sleep at the same time as my sim so the time is moving so slow and it's like I just made you a meal. Why are you getting up at 3 a.m. to eat? Why are you sleeping on the sofa? Hello, okay, whatever, whatever, <laughs> I don't care. It's 5 a.m., come on. What is he doing? He's being so strange. He's gone back to sleep on the sofa. What is wrong with this guy? He came into my bedroom to go to the bathroom. He might as well have just got in bed. He's now scrubbing my toilet. I mean, thank you, I guess. Now he's angry. This guy is so odd. Okay, well, Aramint is awake and she's nice and happy, unlike Glenn. So we're gonna go have some food and then she's gonna have a shower. Oh, and he's off. Oh, he's off to... He's off to work. Okay, Saturday shift, I guess. Good for you. Unless he's again hiding something. Mm -mm. I don't know, maybe he's wearing his lab coat for something else, you know? She really needs a shower, so, but she also needs a toilet. So we're gonna go pee and then have a thoughtful shower. She really does not clean up very well, does she? She didn't even finish those tacos, like, Oh, and he's calling already. Oh yeah, I don't know if I got this on record, but he asked if he should hang out more with his girl called Liliana. And Araminta's a very jealous person, so why would she want her boyfriend to hang out with another girl? So obviously Araminta said no, and luckily he did listen to our advice and did not hang out with her because Araminta would not be happy with that. Oh, we've got mail. That might be all of our elements. That's so exciting. Okay. Oh, who is this? Who's out the door? Who are you and why do you look so sad? We know him apparently. I don't know who this man is. 
Okay, well anyway, let's go get our mail and see how many new elements we have obtained. Okay, right, we have loads, but we haven't completed it. But, oh, don't be mean to him. He's literally sad. Don't insult the guy. That's cruel. Anyways, I'm just going to let her do what she wants for a bit whilst we go through these. Okay, so we already have Plathium. Celium, yeah, we definitely already have. I feel like we've already got- Oh, no, we don't! We have six- We got seven of them. We didn't even have it. Okay. We didn't have Cidrillin, but now we do. So that's fun. We already have this one. Oh, we got that one. Yeah. We literally need three more. Like, come on. Okay, so from that entire collection, we got one new element. Kind of disappointing because we had- we I donated so many crystals and metals for the Geo Cancel yesterday. Like, it was actually ridiculous. I didn't record how many I'd, like, sent over because it took a while. Why are you being so mean to him? I know you're not a very nice person, but he just turned up to your house sad and you're just being horrible. Like, what is wrong with you? Anyways, so as I was saying, I'm a bit disappointed with the amount of- What the hell? Why is Nancy Langrab streaking down the road? What is happening? What is happening with my game? Oh, nope, she's back closed now. Yeah, this guy seems a bit shocked. I mean, I'm not surprised. Oh, he looks upset. I don't think he'd like what he saw. I mean, that was... <laughs> what the hell? Why was she just naked? I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. You know what I didn't get that I wanted to get? I wanted to get a chess table because she needs to work on her logic skill. And a bookshelf. Oh, an unknown caller. They're coming soon. Maybe you should think twice about opening the door. It's Glenn and his aliens. They're coming soon. That is so mysterious. I am telling you. This is just a message about... Gl this is just a message from Glenn. Or someone Glenn knows, some alien Glenn knows, warning her that Glenn is a scary alien weirdo. I'm telling you. I don't trust Glenn. I really don't. And I feel like Aramint is probably going to get her heart broken because... I don't think Glenn is who he says he is. Okay, these people are just arguing, so I'm just gonna send him home because they don't like each other very much, and I don't even know why he turned up, because why is Katrina here? What is happening? What is going on? Why is heavily pregnant Katrina at my door? <laughs> like, what do you want? I mean, considering she was literally just arguing with this random guy that showed up at our door before, she's getting on well with Katrina, and I'm not really sure what's going on here, but you know. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. She's now shouting at her. What is happening? Okay, well, Katrina's leaving now for good reason because she was just, like, really mean to her, but, you know. But anyways, on that note, that's going to be the end of episode three of the Not So Buried Challenge. I hope you enjoyed it, and I don't know what's in store for her and Glenn. I don't know if they are going to last much longer. I mean, she got abducted twice in this episode today, and I have multiple reasons to assume that Glenn was involved because, I mean... He is the only alien we know, and he is a bit obsessed with us. So maybe he's trying to abduct Araminta to keep her with him forever. I don't know, but thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in episode four.